everybody welcome back to my channel i am coming in today with a small haul and my april plans um so i am just going to jump right into it welcome to all my new subscribers thanks for tuning in today uh sorry about this. there's a little bit of a glare um it's still um sunny out and so tried to block it out a little bit so hopefully you'll be able to see things if it looks like there's a glare when i watch this back i'll pop up pictures but so let's get into my plans so what i have um, already shared if you saw my um, March lookbook and I'll link that up above I did not get to three items one was the Caroline pajamas um, one was the second one was the Jennifer Lauren Nixie briefs and the third was my Pinterest pick uh, this new look pattern I was doing I think it was view D or view C and I was going to use this fabric um, based on the inspiration pick I'll put right here but I decided that I thought about it and this is almost like a Liverpool this this fabric and I showed this in in my plans video so I won't go into any details the pattern number and everything is in that video but I was like oh that covers up a lot of upper body and it is hot here and yeah I didn't want this fabric to be covering up so much of my upper body like that and so um what I have decided was to scrap that Pinterest pick for now. I'll probably do it later in the fall. Um, and in the meantime, find some kind of rayon, chali, or something like that to do that in. There's something a little bit more flowy because it is more of a woven than a knit um, um, uh, garment. And so what I've decided to do is I am going to do 6754. I'm going to do view B. It's only four pattern pieces, front, um, whoop, front, back, um, bodice, and front, back skirt. So I'm going to do this. Um, I end up getting this pattern because Kittenish Behavior, Sean, has made it several times, and I do like it. Um, I think she mainly do the ones with the princess cut. So if you see the line drawings, I'm just going to do the simple one here. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that in this print in this um, knit because it's light enough for that and it's not covering up so much of my body um, the upper part so and then it can transition easily to fall um, and winter here um, with a cardigan and whatnot and I'll probably still wear a cardigan with it for the office but yeah so that is my plan for one of my plans for April the Caroline pajamas and the Nixie briefs let me just tell you everything is cut out Everything was cut out in March, but I think I said in my previous video, I started a new job in March, and so I have a little bit more of a commute, so those first couple weeks just really did me in, and I was not <laughs> feeling all of that, um, coming home, doing any extra anything, so, but I got everything cut out. It's been cut out since last month, and everything is cut out for the Caroline pajamas, and everything... <clears throat> Those will get done this month and pop potentially will be done by this weekend. I'm actually going to record two videos. This is early in the week. What's today? It's a Tuesday. And so um, I'll be wearing the same thing <laughs> in this video and the next video. Just uh, forewarn you. And I'm actually wearing, this is a M6886 and my Lisbon cardigan. So that's what I have on today. Um, what else? Uh, so those are my first three plans for um, April. The second one is this. I only have, oh, I'm looking at my list. Um, oh, I want to make these Berta. I, I believe Legionero made these. And I said I wanted to make them because I really do, like my weekend wear, um, can be really just like a cami t-shirt and something like this just real casual like this here just to run around in like running around running errands different stuff like that um in, and i like that look um and so i decided i want to try it so i took a look took a peek at the instructions and it's only like a half a page i think a page Page in the front is the layout, and then the back was the steps. So easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and this will help ease me into the whole pant making, even though this is not anything overly complicated. 
it'll help ease me into that whole process of um, doing um, some pants. So that is on my list for April as well. So that is Berta 6678. 6678. And the next one is McCall. And I do not have fabric for the Berta one yet. So that's going to be a determining factor. Um, the next one is M7131. I've had these for a very long time. If you can see my notes here, um, I bought this because of Mimi G. She had made a pair and I had bought the pattern and I just never sewed it up. But I was like, I really do like culottes. And I'm seeing a lot of people doing culottes. <laughs> a lot of you ladies I'm watching doing culottes, different patterns. And I'm like, I like culottes. So let me try them. So I am going to, I'm looking to do the shorts. What is view is that? View B. And so I'm looking to do view B and the top, which is my other piece for um, 20, I'm sorry, for April, is the Ella Cami by Designer Stitch. And remember, this was new. This is no longer new. This was, I'm sorry, this was free. This is no longer free now because um, I got this last summer, I want to say. And so I am going to do that. Not the ruffle. I'm I'm omitting that I'll just um, adjust that to go straight down but uh, yeah I'm not interested in the ruffle piece but for that I do have so that cami and and those um, kind of culotte type shorts I guess um, I do have a fabric and it is this it's a woven and I got this from sincerely Riley fabrics I know it's not available anymore, so I can't link to it, but it's nice and flowy, airy. You can't really see. It's very, it's light, but, you know, it's not something I have to line. And so I was like, oh, you know what, that cami and, you know, those shorts will go well for that. And it'll be, it'll be a wearable, it'll be a wearable muslin for me because I will be sharing my next video what I'm intending to use this for and so um, which I'm excited about and so I wanted to try to make something with it now to you know work out any kinks or tweaks I need to work out so those are my plans for um, April that is it if I get to one other thing I will but that could be pushed off to May so I'm not gonna even talk about it this month um, and so yeah that is it that is it for my plans for the month of April um, so I am excited about those and getting those finished. Now, let me turn to the haul, my short little haul. So I'll be right back. All right, haul time. So I don't have a lot. I didn't get a lot in the month of March, but let me just show you a couple tools that I did pick up. I actually picked up this needlepoint tracing wheel as I keep watching my, um, my fitting videos that um, I share with you, and I'll link them down below in the description box as well. But um, I had a tracing wheel, but it was the kind that didn't have the little, can you see the little spikes? And this is not the like truly spiky one, but I wanted to give this tracing wheel a try um, for some of the markings that um, Kathleen Cheatham's video show. And so, yeah, so I picked that up. Um, and then I also picked up Steam a Seam. And I picked this up based on a video I watched of Elizabeth of Elizabeth Mathis. She used this in her um what was it? Her quilted vest video, I want to say. And I do some um um close some seams up for one of my pillow designs for my business and I was like oh you know what this will be much easier to use than the little the technique I was using which wasn't all that great and so I was like I'm going to try this and so yep I went ahead and picked up in this you know double stick fusible so thank you Elizabeth for that so I went ahead and picked that up then I picked up and let me move this because I have it set out because I'll be using it for my Nixie briefs. I picked up and this from an Etsy shop, Mary's Supplies, I believe it is. If I get it wrong, I'll put it up on the screen and I'll link her shop down below on Etsy. I picked up all of this lingerie elastic, all these different colors. <laughs> so I won't go through all the colors, but you can see. And then she sent a couple samples in here as well. Um, but yeah, I picked up all these colors, this pink, purple, 
yeah blue can you see that yeah i got some blue in there some purple so some fun colors for and i picked this up specifically for the nixie briefs and um other uh maybe panty patterns i might have or do in the future but yeah so that's why i picked those up then i picked up i do have some fabric two fabrics this came from so sweetness this is cork fabric isn't that pretty hopefully you can see that and the glare is not too bad but isn't that pretty i picked this up and this was a business purchase i will be doing um um, a new product and I want to try it in this cork and so um, I want to give cork a try so I think this is so pretty so I will be giving that a try and look how it looks on the back so it's it's fabric -y on the back and on the front I don't know I don't want to call it a faux leather or anything but it's very sturdy very sturdy so I'm excited about using this um, for that and so um, the last thing I picked up was from Fabric Mart and I haven't bought any fabric from Fabric Mart in a long time. This was a Sue's pick, Amy, Julie's pick. I think it's Sue's pick now. I forget, I think it's still called Julie's pick. I actually did not renew, <laughs> I did not renew the Swatch Club um, because I was thinking about it and I was like, I have not even ordered from the other books yet. And so I was like, let me relax, order from the book, see you know take a better inventory i'm trying to do better this year with not being overly excited about just buying all the things and and stuff so um i was like let me hold off on um still doing the swatches but i i am going to do the swatch club again but want to order some some things first um so i picked up this if you can see that this is um this was 2.99 a yard it was on sale uh, Julie's pick. I think this is normally $12.99 a yard if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I'll link to it down below and you'll see. But it was on sale. It went on sale. The Julie's pick. If you can, hopefully you can see that. I know there's a little bit of a glare. But $2.99 and I got three and a half yards. And this is a midnight muted navy 100% polyester floor, floral design lace. And so this is here here it is and so the reason i bought this is because i wanted to do and i'll put up the pattern here this mccall shirt dress and the lace outer part i wanted to do navy blue now at one point i was going to buy white lace if i can find a nice one dye it navy blue and all of that um, but when this popped up, I was like, no, I am getting this. And the reason I'm doing it, if you, anybody watched my videos and you might remember me saying this, I was at church one Sunday and, um, a lady came in, she had on a shirt dress, looks just like that McCall pattern, but everything was navy blue. The lace was navy blue, the, um, uh, dress underneath the, um, the little dress thing underneath, slip dress underneath was navy blue. And I was like, I want to do that exact thing. <laughs> it was so pretty. And outside of purple, navy blue is my second favorite color. And so, um, yeah, so I went ahead and picked that up. And um, so, yeah, excited about that. And last but not least, the freebies. Here are the freebies that I got for the month. And um, one of these is no longer free um but i'll let you know so i picked up if you are on st Clair pattern um excuse me mailing list and i don't know if this is going to pop up i'll pop in the picture you know until may or is it the end of april i'll put it down below this pattern here the sienna knit drawstring dolman top yeah i'll put up a picture it's free the, right now and so um yeah so i went ahead and uh downloaded that got that notification and email i'm not sure if this one is still free this is rosie pina's her marie wrap skirt let me show that one to you i'll link to her video rosie pina's video because she did do a sew along for this but this was her marie wrap 
um, skirts. So it may or may not still be free. I don't know. What I will do is link her video, her so long video she did on her channel um, here. I'll um, link that down below. And then last but not least, I have also linked, I mean, I'm sorry, I have also received, this is Mimi G. Um, Mimi G's, um, what is the name of this dress? Now, this is not, no longer available. This was, if you caught her video that day, it was only available that day. It's the Jessica um, button-up sweetheart bodice with gathered skirt and large patch pockets. And so, if you saw that, isn't that pretty? And so, for me, I would probably, more than likely, omit the gathers when I give this a try. And then, of course, I will need to make adjustments. This is how the line drawing looks. I will make adjustments, obviously, for the straps, um, that piece up above. But, um, yes, isn't that so pretty? And so, yep, she ran that for one day. And um, so, yeah, I jumped on that. That was just a one day or April 6th is what I... Um, the date I wrote it down for so yeah that is it that is my haul those are my plans for April um, if you have any questions or anything please leave them in the um, description box below I will link to any fabric down below the cork fabric the lace fabric um, and the free pattern I'll link to Rosie Pina's video and also to Sinclair um, the page on her website where you can get that up until I think the end of April but you'll see and so that's oh in the Etsy shop where I got the lingerie elastic so that is it thank you everybody for tuning in today this was a little bit of a longer video but stay tuned I am coming right back like I said um, you'll see this next part next week but I'll be right back in the same outfit to share with you some exciting news. All right, everybody, have a blessed week. Thumbs up this video if you like this video, and I will see you next week. All right.